So here I have my Discord bot. I'm in the directory, and as you can see, if I run it, the bot comes online, and if I use a command, the bot is working. So if I want to host this bot, I'm going to go into the bot's directory, which is here, and that's all the bot's files. So then you go to this website, it's at docky.cc, and just sign in with your Discord account. So once you log in, you're sent to this dashboard, and the first thing you do is go here, create server. I am on the free plan because I don't want to spend money on hosting this bot. So these are the resources it gives me. So you have to remember these numbers. Name it Discord Bot. Resources, RAM. Uh, RAM was 512, CPU was 50, disk was 1024, you can only choose Germany, my bot is in JavaScript, and hit create. So now you have this server which the website creates for you and to access it, go to credentials, hit regenerate password, it'll give you a password here, go to the panel, this is just your email, then enter that password. That will bring you to this page. Um, and click on your Discord bot and go to files. So here, as you can see, there are no bot files. So hit upload and then select all of your bot files. Should upload automatically. I have a folder, so you have to create those yourself. You can also drag and drop. So then finally you have to create one file, it's your start file. So for me, that's just no dot, create file and call it start.sh. It will automatically run that file, which runs your bot. So I like to install my dependencies first, put those here. And now that is the first startup command. Now just go here to console, hit start. and your bot is online. So there are occasional outages on this service, but it's rare and they have really good support. I had a bot on it, this one actually, go down um, for about five minutes and then I joined the Discord server and the owner talked to me immediately and helped me. So yeah, I think it's a great service and you can trust it to host your Discord bot.